Thanks a lot for sending in your video. I really appreciate all of you guys who are sending in your videos to get help. You guys are awesome. Hello Aaron, this is Bruce and I need some I need help with my kickflips. The problem with my kickflips is that I land them on my front foot instead of both. And I've been I mean practicing for around four months and I've almost caught it. But the problem is when I do land it, I land in an awkward position. I'll show you I know how to do an Ollie and I'll show you my foot position about now. This is my foot position. It's uh, just like that. Um, there's my front foot and there's my back foot. I think I'm doing my foot position properly because I can kick foot from this position pretty well. And I almost, la most of the time I landed like this. So yeah. Okay, so your foot position looks good. And I noticed that you mentioned that you're landing them most of the time. So I'm not exactly sure what to help you out with. Your ollie is good, and now let's check out some kickflips. So you just landed the first one, booyah, right off the bat. You mentioned that when you land it, you're in an awkward position, but I honestly have no idea what you're talking about because you're landing good kickflips and you're landing them in a good position. You landed the first two in a row, so I'm not sure what to help you with exactly or what you need help with, but now that you got the kickflips down, just continue practicing them until you can just do them so easily. And then from here you want to practice doing the kickflips while moving, and you can just, you can literally take your skating to the next level from this point on. I need help on this Aaron Cairo. We should, wish you would help as soon as possible. Thanks Aaron, you're the best. No, you are the best my friend, and your kickflips are good. So I am going to help you, I'm going to help you take your skating to the next level. I just wanted to point out on these two kickflips, that is a good kickflip. Executed correctly, you flipped it correctly, you caught it with your back foot, and you landed good. This is the foot position I use for my kickflip. I wanted to point out that your foot position is a little different. Your toe is a little further off, and that is good. You're a lot smaller than me, and it's going to be easier for you to flip the board faster with your foot further off the board. You made this comment that you feel like your foot position is correct because you're landing the kickflips, and that is absolutely correct. Not every single person's bodies are the same. Some people have smaller feet, some people are taller, and that's going to change the difference of like where you put your feet. So not every single skater is going to have the exact same foot position, but by watching trick tip tutorials like this, it can help to give you a good idea of where to put your feet. And also some people will get a huge board and then they'll try and do kickflips and it's so hard for them to flip it just because the sheer mass of the board is so large. So yeah, here's a bunch of kickflip shots of me moving, rolling, rolling up some obstacles. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to go out and I want you to just roll around and kickflip everywhere. Get really good at doing your kickflips while moving. And literally, I don't know if you got skateboarding made simple or not, but it goes through all of those beginning tricks. And you can basically at this point start combining those. So yeah, here's me kick flipping off a ledge. So you should do that, kick flip off things, start kick flipping over things. But what I was getting at is combining those tricks. For example, you can combine the pop shove it and the kick flip and you can start doing varial flips. That's the next step that I suggest you get into is varial flips. From there, start learning backside flips. And you're literally like, the sky's the limit at this point. It's just time to start progressing on your skateboard. So learn backside flips. And then you're gonna rock some hard flips. I made separate tutorials for all of these tricks already. So if any of you guys are learning any of these tricks, you should definitely search and check those out. From hard flips, you can learn frontside flips. Sometimes people will learn frontside flips before hard flips because it's a little bit easier for them. I'll let you make that decision for yourself. 
And from this point, you can get into 360 flips. 360 flips is another really awesome, really, really, really fun trick. And yeah, you your kickflips are good, again. So I'm not quite sure what to help you improve upon on your kickflips. But what I do want you to do is progress. Progressing on your skateboard is one of the most fun things. And every time you learn a trick, it's a brand new accomplishment. So yeah. If any of you guys are progressing in your skateboarding or stuck on any of the basic skateboarding tricks, check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It will help you out. It will help you learn all of those basic tricks so you can progress and work your way all the way up through 360 flips and beyond.